Hey guys, it's Lemon here, and welcome back to another Wild Horse Islands video. So, as you may be aware, the next update coming to Wild Horse Islands is a map update, but it's also known as the Island Expansions update. It is coming on Friday, April 19th at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So, Trick updated what this is going to be, and this update is also known as the World Overhaul update that was released a few months ago. Now, the setup of this update has been changed, and I do think that you guys are going to be pretty happy with this and the changes that were made to it. Um, so, the description says, Islands will be grouped into different servers to majorly improve performance and immersion of each island. The groups are as follows. Main slash low level server, which includes tutorial, mainland, blizzard, and forest. The mid level server, which includes royal, desert, and mountain. The high level server, which includes jungle, lunar, and volcano. The role playing server, which has both role play and wild island, so those are going to be grouped together, which is also going to be a plus. Um, and then there's going to be the trading server, which is the trading hub, the breeding server, which is the breeding hub, and then the alternate server number one, which will be training island. Stable islands will exist in all servers. In addition to the server change, islands will receive graphical updates. Some islands will be minorly updated, such as new buildings and props, and some will be majorly updated or redesigned completely. By grouping islands into servers, we are aware that competition for resources and wild horses will increase. We will be taking steps to mitigate slash eliminate these potential issues. So you guys, it seems like Trick heard our feedback for the world overhaul update and has taken the steps to compromise some of the issues. So instead of having one island per server, the servers are now going to be in groups. And I think that this was a really good move. Um, I think that the grouping of the servers were, were good, such as having a low-level server, a mid-level server, and a high-level server. So there's going to be three in each server, so you can go to those three. I think that that's a really good move. And then in addition to this, you guys, so some of the islands are going to just be having graphical updates, but it also said that some islands will be majorly updated or redesigned completely. I don't even know what ones that's going to be. Who knows what islands are going to be completely redesigned. I'm thinking possibly Blizzard, since it seems a little bare, but I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on that. But I'm super excited to see what this is going to be, and then they're also aware about the resource competition, which is good, uh, so they're trying to figure that out. I hope that you guys are relieved or happy to hear that the islands are going to be in groups rather than in each of their own separate servers. I think that this is going to be good for the game, and I'm really excited to see this event comes. It's coming very shortly. So anyways, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I'm definitely looking forward to this update and seeing what ends up coming. Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope that you all enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Wild Horse Islands content, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.